This is Aromas for Imotep Radiant Oscillator. And very much thank you for Imotep, Aaron, Litmotor and all the others on the Energetic Forum from whom I've learned so very much. Today is a little bit of a strange thing. I was cleaning up because I burned one of my uh, frequency generators. So I needed to replace some parts and I need to go very far to get it. So in the meantime I thought let me play around with transistors and see if I can generate a frequency by running one transistor to another one. And accidentally, purely accidentally, I got into this thing. I don't know whether it is common knowledge. I'm not a big electronic knowledgeable person but I think this is a little bit ghostly anyway it is another leg for the very well practiced Emotep radiant oscillator so let me explain what all these things are for those that are not into it this is a normal automotive 12 volt battery off the shelf nothing changed on anything from this wire is connected to the earth of my building. It is not directly into the ground, but it is quite a big building and some of the pillars are, do go quite a bit deep into the ground. Here is a small transistor, 2N2222. 2222. Then I have four transistors, 2N3055, the normal common ones which we always use in electricity. Um, automotive coil, normal induction coil, nothing changed on that one. And the high voltage wire coming out to three CFG, CFG lights. All the inners were removed. There's no control cables. It's only the tubes that I'm using here. All right. So what happened is when I connected this thing up, it was still on, the, on my PC board and on the um, breadboard. Then I found there was a lot of radiance. I found there was a hertz showing on my meter. And I couldn't understand why and where it is coming from because my triple five chip was removed. Eventually I moved everything out of the board and this is the only thing that is remaining. So let's go and see and play around and see what is the results on this one. There is notice there's no condenser, there's no diode, there's no capacitor, nothing, nothing else to block or prevent or promote or direct the flow of electricity is only purely the scales. That one is connecting up to them. Now, these lights are not connected, except for the one polarity coming from the high voltage of the coil. And by the way, this is the very cheapest coil that is possibly on the market. It doesn't even have a brand name. When you buy it, it's coming in a plastic bag. And this is in Thailand. So, it is uh, weight is much less than the Bosch. So, I presume it's got a lot less wiring inside as well. But that's what I could get on a short notice. The negative wire from the battery connecting to the other side of the light. When I connect them up and make contact, the light is quite strong. You see there is a little bit of a flicker there. And by the way, yes, it does have a short little bit of a tickling when you touch it with a spark that is about two or one and a half or two millimeters long. Now notice the strength of that light. If I move it over and I include the second light, both lights are quite strong. They are almost the same as when I put this light into the uh, 220 volt wall socket. Anyway, these lights were blown. They did not work anymore. So it didn't cost me anything to break them up and remove all the parts. Going over to this third one, that is it. What I've noticed, when I have it on the first one, it gives me a frequency of 4900 approximately. When I have two lights connected, it goes up to 5100. When I have three lights up, the frequency goes to 5400. So it's approximately 300 hertz per light extra. But the drawing of electricity, when I measured it before, on the amps, on the volts, as I posted it on the, on the forum itself, it all remains the same. Same amps, same volts, one light, two light, or three lights. No difference in that. Sometimes, it does happen that when I take the ground off, it seems that the light is, is not as strong. So now you see, for instance, there on the third light, and that is when I connect the ground. This ground is not connected to any electricity. It's just going down into the building, down to the bottom. Um, well, that's just it. Help. Explain for me something here. Yeah. 
uh, you can hear on a very faint way you can hear the frequency barely audible but it is there thank you